Okay, okay. I know I'm a few days or maybe even a week late or maybe even more. I don't know when this video was going up at the time of filming this voiceover, but I'm somehow in some way late to making a video about this topic. But I felt as someone who is desperately trying to build a platform for themselves as an artist, it was time I give my thoughts. Hi there, if you don't know me, my name is Gail. I'm a graphic designer, artist, and illustrator who's really struggling with, well, everything right now. Welcome to the channel, we're all just kind of trying to cope with the suffering right now. If you clicked on this video, there's a pretty good chance you already know what I'm going to be talking about, but if you don't, here it is. Instagram slash Meta recently announced that basically any images that are uploaded onto their platforms will be used to train their generative AI programs. And that, as you may guess, is a huge threat to anyone who makes anything. Whether you're just a hobby maker, if you're someone with a small business, or even if you're someone with a huge following. There is an option for you to opt out of Meta using your images, but it's a long, tedious, and from what I've learned from some friends who tried to opt out of it, kind of something that doesn't get much of a response from Instagram. They either don't really look at your appeal, or they don't really respond to you, it just seems like it's not really going anywhere and they feel like they spent a lot of their time on something that was just a wasted effort. In response, a lot of artists have decided to move over to an app called Kara or Kara. I've heard people say both, but I've heard more people say Kara, so I'm going to refer to it as Kara, which is an app designed by artists for artists to protect their work against being used to train generative AI programs. It's essentially a portfolio app, kind of like LinkedIn, but more so geared for art and not searching for a career or jobs. I understand why a lot of artists are jumping off Instagram, and I've seen a lot of videos calling for everyone to boycott Instagram and switch over to Kara, and personally, I don't think that's a great idea, at least not for me, and I wanted to touch on a few reasons why in this video. Of course, I'm completely against generative AI programs. I'm not against AI in general. I am against generative AI in the creative field specifically. I do not view it as a tool, and I will never label it as a tool. Of course, I'm also furious that Instagram is now able to use every piece of art I've ever posted as a means to train its AI. However, I can't just archive or delete images of my work like I've seen other artists doing. Instagram is kind of a time capsule for me. It has most of my work that I've made since 2019, including a lot of work that I don't even have anymore because I either sold it or threw it away when I remodeled my bedroom last year, which is also my studio. Archiving or deleting my posts erases that time capsule, and I'd like to keep it up as a way for other young or aspiring artists to see where I came from and how much I've grown in the past five years as of filming this video. Instagram is kind of also my main portfolio for my work. Yes, I do have a website where I keep my work and I update it frequently, but it doesn't have anywhere near as much work as my Instagram does, and I can't exactly use my website to promote shop updates or post about products coming out in anticipation for a shop update because my website isn't a social media platform, it's just my website. I also can't just go on hiatus or leave Instagram, because frankly, I have nowhere else to go. I post on threads, but that's obviously made by Meta, so my images are no safer on threads than they would be on Instagram. I don't post on Facebook that much, no one on there sees my posts, despite me having an art page, and I'm mostly on there for the artist alley groups that I'm a part of. Twitter is just a hard place to be on in general, and I've been posting on there for over a year with little to no growth at all, and it does support AI-generated imagery, so that's not great. Pinterest is a nice platform that's free of all the toxicity of regular social media apps, but I feel like I need to link it to a different social media to share my images, so that way anyone who views my posts has a place to source them back to. And getting reach on Pinterest is also really difficult. I tried posting on Pinterest consistently two years ago, which didn't really do anything for me. Tumblr is really the only place where I've gotten good engagement, met a nice community, and I can still engage in both art and non-art related things that I enjoy. However, the engagement over there is nowhere near enough for me to just abandon Instagram entirely. It's easy to post reminders for shop updates, post products, and other things on Instagram, but it's a lot more difficult to do that on Tumblr especially when I can't see the date something was posted from other users. So when they see my work, or they come across one of my posts randomly, they can't see when it was posted, so they have no idea if me saying, hey, I'm updating my shop soon, they have no idea if that's recent or not. They're gonna have no idea. Tumblr is a great place, but frankly, it's just not enough for me. 
TikTok might get banned in the future, but right now TikTok is really my only hope. I post on TikTok several times a week, and though it may seem like I have a lot of followers, the truth is that I have not been gaining any followers since 2021. In fact, I've been steadily losing followers every day since 2021. And even though my notifications tell me someone followed me, that number never actually goes up. It just continues to go down and my engagement continues to go down with it. Back in 2022, I did a huge collab with Sky Children of the Light and that video, the first one, got like several millions of views. The second one didn't do as great, but it still got way more views than any normal video would. And even then, no followers. It just kept going down. I did get followers like in my notification feed, but that number never went up. It just kept tanking down, down, down. Back in 2020, or even in the early TikTok days of 2017 and 2018, the average video from me got around 3,000 views, and that's just if the video was doing average. Nowadays, a good video for me gets around 1,000 views, and usually I don't get that many views on a video, because I keep getting stuck in the 300 to 500 view death pit most of the time. I also recently shut down my TikTok shop after basically half a year of no sales. So now Etsy is the only place where I stock my products, and because TikTok is still really pushing TikTok shop, my videos don't get the kind of engagement I need to get sales. But even on Instagram, I'm getting basically no engagement. I'm trying to make a business out of my art. I have stickers, prints, shirts, all kinds of stuff in my shop that I love, and I would hope other people love. But after going through the entire month of May with zero sales, and things looking very, very similar for June despite me having a shop update in June, I'm feeling very, very discouraged. I am doing all I can, but I am not getting any reach anywhere, really. Well, and then of course, there is YouTube. The only reach I can get on YouTube is whenever I upload a video that happens to be talking about Miraculous Ladybug, which is a franchise I really hate and I love to hate on, but I want other people to come to my channel for me and my art, not just because of Miraculous Ladybug. I don't even expect this video to get that much reach because I've had my YouTube channel for three years now and in my eyes, my small business is still in the failure zone. I'm not getting any reach anywhere. So if I leave Instagram, that seriously damages what little reach I do have. That leads me into why I don't think I'm going to be joining Kara. First off, Kara is still in its beta stages. It has a lot of bugs and glitches, it's really slow, and its servers are really overwhelmed by the amount of people joining it. But the thing is is that those users, but the thing is that those users are all other artists and creatives. Don't get me wrong, I love being surrounded by a creative community of makers but I need my audience to be more than just other artists. I've found that my products have the most attention from people who aren't traditional creatives or makers. The people who like my art mostly are people who are like me, people who are neurospicy, who are millennials, my age, which is Gen Z, and some younger kids, maybe even some Gen Alphas. If I want my shop to succeed, I can't have just other artists seeing my work. I need the wider audience to be able to access and see my stuff and follow along with where I am and what I'm doing and what I'm making. My fear with Kara is that the only people who will be using it are artists, and I don't want to become confined to a platform that is only populated by other artists. And that's my problem. My current following is mostly other artists. I don't have a very strong following base. I don't have much of an audience, but I do have a few. And the neurospicy and, frankly, non-straight people that I want to appeal to, the people that are like me, the people that are most likely to take interest in my work, aren't going to follow me over to Kara. I have maybe 30 likes on an Instagram post if it's doing good, and most of those are from my friends. My friends might go over to Kara and they'd follow me, but I don't think any non-artists are going to be jumping onto this app. I just don't. I also feel like it would become an app that I would only post on and not actually spend my time on. That's how I feel about threads. I post on threads and I don't really do anything else with the app. I basically never scroll my threads feed and the reverse flow that it has of older posts being higher and newer posts being lower is something that messes with my brain in ways I really hate. So it makes me not use the app. I'm not saying Kara is like that, but it, it's, I feel like it's going to end up the same way in terms of I just won't use it. I just don't spend any time on threads like I do with Instagram or Tumblr or Pinterest or TikTok or even Twitter. I scroll my Twitter way more than I think I should, actually. 
I don't think it's worth my time to download an app that's mainly for artists that I'm not going to really actually engage with and spend my time on. I just don't think Kara is worth my time because the audience I want to have will not be crossing over to Kara with me. My opinion is of course subject to change, but at this time, Kara just doesn't seem worth it to me. Right now, the only things I think I can do are to keep posting on TikTok, keep trying to get the algorithm to like my videos, try to get my small business at least somewhat afloat. I'd love to say that I get at least two orders every month, but right now, even getting one a month is extremely difficult. But that's my goal anyway. I'm not leaving Instagram, but I am going to try out using Glaze or Nightshade, which applies certain minuscule changes to my work as a mask to protect it from generative AI programs. It's a lengthy process and I haven't tried the app yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to try downloading it on my computer and seeing how it works. It's going to be awful to have to use it for any images I want to post on Instagram in the future, but I'm hoping it'll somewhat help. And also, everyone seems to enjoy my more talkative, informative videos, so I'll definitely be making more videos like this for my YouTube channel instead of videos dedicated to me just making art with Muse Kids boxes or anything like that. I'm also hoping to try to monetize my channel soon, so maybe that will help me at least a little. I'm just hoping that this will help me get somewhere. I'm hoping this will at least help me try to get a little bit more engagement and a little more attention from people amidst all this generative AI stuff. At least I've, I've got to try, right? There's got to be something I can do that'll work. This year has been absolutely devastating for my business. I don't have any events planned for right now. Getting into the convention space before or after I graduate next year is absolutely terrifying because I'd be doing it completely alone and without help. And I've only done an event with hours similar to a convention once before, and I had help during that event, and it was a one-day event. I've had barely any orders from my shop this year. My one event, I did, <laughs> went really poorly. I don't have a lot of paying projects lined up for the summer, and the views on my Etsy shop are immensely down. I don't think it's me or my art that's the problem, I think it's a lot of things. Mostly the horrific state of the economy right now, with lots of people being laid off, the job market is in shambles, no one can afford anything because of inflation, there's not a lot of disposable income right now, it's all very overwhelming and scary, and Meta announcing their generative AI program stealing our images just makes that all worse. I really want to get into the convention space, but I'm really worried that I need more of an audience before I do that because too many people haven't seen my work, but I feel like once I'm able to take the leap, maybe that'll help if I'm able to get into any conventions, if I'm able to do events by myself, then maybe things will start to look up. Maybe I'll get a little bit more of an audience, start to reach more of the non-artist audience that I really want. Right now though, I just need to graduate school. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe, maybe I just wait a little bit. I know a lot of con artists have said that they've been struggling this year as well, so maybe it's just a waiting game. Wait for things to improve a little bit. Don't know, this is just me rambling. I'm, I'm, I'm going off script right now. I usually do script my videos and this is me going off script. Getting back on track though, I feel like I'm very much in a state of I don't know what to do and I feel like a failure. So I'm sorry that this isn't the most optimistic video in the world, but social media is absolutely going to shit right now. So I wanted to give out my thoughts as someone who unfortunately doesn't have the luxury of leaving Instagram to go somewhere else. That's all for now. So if you want to help a seriously struggling artist who's trying to save to be able to afford an apartment once I graduate, uh, you can check out my Etsy shop. I make all my products myself in my bedroom slash art studio with my printer and my cutting machine and my hands obviously, and I could desperately use the support. So if you have the means to even buy a sticker from my shop, I'd super appreciate it. Your support is what keeps me and my business here, and right now, I really need it. It's been a very rainy, muggy Oregon summer for me so far, so I could use a little sunshine and happiness in my life. If you want, start a discussion in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on all of Instagram's generative AI BS. If you're switching to Kara, tell me why you're switching. If you're striking against Instagram, what are you doing to protect your work? How are you keeping your business afloat? Or just tell me anything you'd like to complain about or just get it off your chest. Put it in the comments. I wanna hear it. I wanna see it. I love knowing that I'm not the only one who's struggling. I love knowing I'm not struggling alone. Anyway, the links to all my social medias are down below, but I'm Abigail Lynn Arts basically everywhere. So like a post of mine, subscribe here if you want. Maybe I'll see you in my next video, who knows? Alright, that's all for now, so take care everyone.